Odinga says he had no alternative but to call for demonstrations. His Orange Democratic Movement says it's organising three days of peaceful protests in citizen towns across Kenya next week. Party officials say the mediation effort has been derailed by a president who was illegally elected. And Mr Odinga told Al Jazeera that Mwai Kibaki is deliberately sabotaging any move towards settlement. President Kibaki, Mr Kibaki and his team have not demonstrated any good faith in the dialogue, as evidenced by their refusal to come to the table with Mr Kifuo. So, uh, th therefore, we think that they are basically just praying for time. Uh, until they are ready to come to the table, our people will continue to protest, because this is the only option that is available to us to be able to demonstrate our uh, disappointment and anger at the rigging of the election. The government responded with a heavy attack on the ODM and a call to the people of Kenya not to take their protests to the streets. We should reject violence and calls for demonstration that do not improve our livelihoods but sustain political mischief by a few people. Let us not take political disagreements to the streets. Instead, let us use the systems available to us and respect our constitution and also each other. With political talks back to square one, this was the scene on Friday in Kenya's biggest slum district, Kibera, where many of the past protests have taken place. People queuing for free medical care. Hunger and illness, the consequences of the recent violence and looting. In western Kenya, displaced people carry on the long trail to places deemed safe for them. A big humanitarian operation is now in gear, but the effects on tens of thousands of people will be long-term, regardless of what happens politically. The next potential flashpoint in this crisis is next Tuesday, when Parliament reconvenes. Now, the ODM right now have a working majority, but government sources say that they're approaching minority parties and they're convinced they'll have the working majority come next Tuesday. Whatever the outcome, the former UN Secretary General, Kofi Annan, will have his work cut out when he arrives here sometime next week. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Nairobi in Kenya.